the eighties and all the adventures we had. Fun? Oh yeah. Yeah, musicians in bars getting beer I've got. He's just looking at you going, man, Sandy hasn't aged well. <laughs> <laughs> That's her, right? Eh? No, no, no. Oh, Sandy. <laughs> Sorry, Sandy. That's her. No, no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. No. I'm the only spoon. These are others. Other utensils. <laughs> Forks and knives. And... I'm the Vitamix. <laughs> there you go. So uh, tell me about how the spoons began. Began? Oh, good thing I wrote a book. Yeah. <laughs> I tell people, you know, why'd you write a book? Well, for one thing, it's it's for me. I mean, I, I said this before, but like you start forgetting things, so it's good to get it down, right? Because especially the early stuff. But luckily, when you start writing, it all comes back. And we were pretty well just came out of high school. Yeah, we just met in high school. Um, Sandy nice. and I've been Aldershot uh, of uh, in Burlington. Oh, yeah, and, we, and Jim Car Jim Carrey went to our school. Jim Carrey went to our school. We do see the same same talent shows and. Yeah. And he went his way, and obviously, and um, yeah, Sandy and I met in the high school band. Wow, she played great. the trumpet, I played the saxophone, and the rest is history. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's great. And you're uh, you're here at Indigo today with your new book called Spoon Fed. Here it is. My and one and only book. Yeah. I don't know if I got another one in me or not. Mm -hmm. And uh, how but, long has this been? Out? Uh, since last October. Yeah. And this is a uh, a book signing. Yeah, I do this all over the place, and sometimes I bring my guitar. You know. Well, do you want to play us a crazy little ditty? Sure, what would you like? Anything? You do crazy little do. ditty? Yeah. <laughs> the, the internet attention spans about 90 yep. seconds anyway. Here, I'll give you a campfire version of this song. It'll take you, that's what I like about acoustic. I like to do songs that you wouldn't think would be acoustic songs, and then it usually takes people a little while to figure out what the song is, which is fun for me. And then it's like, okay. This song used to be all drum machines and synthesizers. And then, like the 82. Architects of the world I'm walking your streets and live in the town Tell me where we leave Architects of the world Drums, please. <laughs> you soon as well until now But soon they'll be, they'll be on our own You can add something fun. I'll swing this one. Yeah, I'll sleep. Do that. <laughs> you got the drummer from Platinum Blonde here. All rest. Just sneaking in, folks. Rest in your Nova heart. At ease. With the thought that this Nova won't burn. Oh. Oh, that's how it goes. Yeah. I can pick it up. But there's nobody here to dance, so what the heck? Oh, my God. Oh, that was awesome. Thanks for the thanks for the verse. You almost smell the uh, the marshmallows and the weenies mm -hmm. roasting. All right, so we do have Dan here. Hi. Hi, Dan. How's it going? It's going really, really good. I That's know good. these people follow me wherever I go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. You know great I mean? supporters. Yeah. No, they're great I'll people. always support Gordon. Yeah. Everything you do. Name again? Natalie. Natalie. Yeah. And what do you do? I'm a host of the Shopping Channel. Awesome. Awesome. That's can we great. get the book on the Shopping Channel? Hey. Certainly you can get Joe Rivers on, you can get me on. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. I need an angle though, right? Yeah. Well, I got a paper cut off one of these. There you go. Could you use it to, you know, groom? Like the, like the no-no? Or the, yeah. <laughs> the silken. The silken. Yeah, the no-no is out. It's all about the silken now. <laughs> and so tell me about the book then. Spoonfed. Um, oh, Spoonfed. It's, it's my life and the spoons and how the two relate and still interconnect and... Um, it's just a great 80s just like full of stories like, and all the things that went on it's like it's 10, ten years of Halloween I say, I've said this before it's, it really is it's like funny stories crazy stories sad stuff dark stuff and just a lot of ridiculous you know very entertaining decade to write about yeah it's been doing great yeah, sure. uh, tell me about uh, maybe your favorite place to play around town uh, maybe in the world in the world yeah what was your favorite uh, concert yeah. that's hard to say oh Phil <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yes, the, the point actually is down in, um, in um, what's it called, uh, Bronte, beautiful, <laughs> Bronte, Bronte like, but no, you know, there's lots of, different, I, I really like the coast, east and west coast, I have the best memories from, like Halifax, Vancouver, something about the, the water and the coast, and, but, you know, in Toronto, 
great memories of um, the C and D grandstand. We played with the police. That was pretty amazing. Oh, police Doesn't ex- Yeah. Yeah. Or, or even I think you know what? If there was one venue, I would have to say the Forum at Ontario Place, oh, the old spinning that. stage. Yeah. Sorry, man, for sure. Now that I think about it, that probably has the most memories wrapped up in it than you know, any other place we've ever played. The amphitheater is okay, but the Forum is something absolutely special. It was. It was. I saw Ray Charles there, BB King. There was something about that. You, you just go through this tunnel that came from the change room into this old thing, right? Yeah. And you, you walk on the stage. It's, it's turning very slowly, mind you. It's like once every two hours, but still you're like, here we go, and the show starts, right? You can just, you know, yeah. it's just a great moment when you walk through that tunnel. And then you can end the night at the Zumrang, of course, and it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, so Ontario Place is great. The coast is great. Um, who have you played with other than uh, the Spoons? Any uh, memorable jams that you've had with other players? Well, Dan and I played in a band. What was yeah. that band called? Rob Lee Love, we, we, we had a band called what? I don't even know what it was called. Well, we played with Kenny as well, too. I remember Kenny that. McLean. And, and stuff. We all, I mean, the 80s guys, they kind of stick together. You know? We all, like, yeah, um, exactly. We, we do super show, you know, we, Alan Frew and yeah. Mark Holmes, they're going to all get together and do stuff, you know? Like, I think Voices, we spend more time. Voices of the 80s was the name of that one. Voices of the 80s? It was, was with, with yeah, Lee yeah. and, and stuff like that. And, and um, we'd always get the. the uh, the, let's let's just call them the Canadian the Canadian guys the, you know the, the team you know, the, you know, we all look out for each other anyway right sure. so well, we you know, probably spend more time now together than we did in the eighties right yeah, yeah in the eighties we're all competitive couldn't stand each other right now yeah. we're like oh, I missed you <laughs> it's like a little bit of the like past. summer camp you know what I mean yeah so, yeah really the, the reunion you know, so exactly great, you know, so. and we appreciate our each other stuff more too I think Absolutely. you know it grows on Throws on you. Yeah. It, it, it does you know and, and what I think is so great about this book and I and I'm, and I'm not saying this because Gord's my friend. Being on the road myself, you know, you, you get out with guys and you start talking about stories and, and you think that you've heard it all. And there's just more and more and more that just keep coming up. And it's not stuff that you create, it's stuff that just happens. You know, you, you, you can't believe this person. Or you run into somebody that uh, reminds you of something, it just opens up something else. You know, it takes you in so many different directions of, of what happened at one oh, for location. Sure. Ron, you know? It's like domino effect, right? But, but I try to write down things that, that weren't just. You know, it was, perf- it was like party stuff. I had to sort of fit into the scheme of this thing. There's like threads running through it and think it leads somewhere. So it's not just one, you know, filler like this party and this thing. Sure. It's, got, it's got to be important things that sort of explain why things happen and, you know. Yeah, well, your writing is deep for sure. Yeah, and yeah. especially 30 years later, you, it kind of makes sense of your life when you see it put down like that. Yeah, and it's great to hear the jazzy versions of songs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but check out this one. I'm just, I keep trying to reinvent songs, you know, like. Um, this one, it takes people a while to figure this one out, but it's like... since it's come out like the synchronicity and I actually had a little chapter at the beginning how things or people or events would concur with like the book like I, I wouldn't have seen somebody for 20 years the book come, came out and I'd meet him in the street and I would just or I'd just been writing about a certain guy in a certain studio and, and he'd pop up out of the blue it's like parallel universes or something going on so tell me about that off camera that was a pretty cool um, story well, about the we did yeah we um, did a promotional thing with Thrifties, which is a clothing store. I think it's now called Bootlegger or not Bootlegger, Blue Notes, Blue Notes, yeah. which is kind of unheard of at the time. We got a lot of a lot of criticism, but you know, not everybody does it, right? Every celebrity's got a perfume or a, sure. a line of clothes. But there was a lady who worked with us at Thrifties. Unbelievable, just happened to be here. At, at and, and tell me the story. Like you were driving by, where was? Well, that? you know what? I didn't realize how deep we were in it until they did this 
photo shoot that they had a big poster for every season of the year. Like these are, but they weren't the biggest ones because I went, I went by the flagship store on Young and Bloor, and our picture, I swear to God, was covering the whole front of the building. And I put on my brakes. I'm, I'm surprised I didn't cause a pile up because I was like, oh no, what have we done? You know. And the, the Scarborough story that was pretty cool too. Yeah. Well, the yeah. thing is, even though it, it was a, a risky thing to do an endorsement like that, the in stores we did for that were bigger than most record stores, except maybe Sound the Record Man, you know, before, like a garden show or something. Yeah. And there was one in particular at the Scarborough Town Center, which is out of control, it was a riot. And she pushed the panes of glass in the store. I remember getting letters from fans saying, oh, I broke my rib at your show, I lost my shoe, but we still love you anyway. <laughs> but they had to like throw us into a van on the back and they had us take off. I can only imagine what it must have been for a band like the Beatles, because we're only a, a fraction of what they had to be at that level, you, you just have to hide all the time. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're not hiding today. No. Oh, yeah, this one, too. We, we did this, a lot of these um, we started doing with the full spoons as well, because I sort of reinvented them for acoustic, but live it kind of works, too. So we do a little bit of the, the slow down, moody version, then kick in, so, you know. But, yeah, but this one, it takes a while for people to figure out which is this. It's got sort of a John Lennon, um, Believe kind of piano thing. thing. Oh. I know that you could turn my world around like a ball on fire. I know, I know, cause I'm so vulnerable. So try to be fair, I'm new at this game of trials. Tell no lies, tell no lies. <laughs> oh, but it's up and I love it, yeah. Tell no lies, tell no lies. You know that I got a few. Yeah, of my own. It goes on like that, and it finally comes to it. That's great, it's great. My last pick. <laughs> Between last night's show, and t we played last night at a festival in Oakville, and we're playing one up in Aurora tonight, I, I, down to one pick. They're all in the, uh, I don't know. In the crowd. The fifth dimension. Yeah, they disappear. Especially when you have picks that are the same color as the floor. Yeah. I need like red or pink or something. Anyway. Oh, this is awesome. Um, so uh, tell us um, about your website and stuff like that. It's, a, it's an online show, so yeah. get your stuff. Everywhere, I guess. Everywhere, like uh, spoonsmusic.com. If you just go to spoons, uh, seriously, you get those little collector spoons the old ladies collect. Yeah. So, spoons music. To our <laughs> Some other band ripped you off. They're called Spoon or something. Oh, that, and that, yeah, there, and there's actually a whole bunch of spoons as well. It's not the only one, there's lots of them. So, just give up. I just gave up on trying to catch those. Um, Twitter, Spoons Canada, mm -hmm. Facebook, Spoons Music. I think it's. The spoons.ca. It's all different, but just put in spoons, you'll get them all, you know, oh, sure. one way or another. I'll post the links on there too. So. It's, yeah, it's kind of funny the stuff pops up. Not just um, spoons, but there's actually a band from Japan we just found it called Nova Heart. Oh, yeah, like, it's got to be something there. They, they're very 80s. They, yeah. they're, so it's nice to see there's some influences somewhere. There's a band in the United States down south called Honeymoon Suite. Another one? Yeah. Another Honeymoon Suite. Another Honeymoon Suite. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right, so. Um, and the book, we're here at Indigo, of course, and uh, yeah. indigo.ca probably can... Yep, you get it, Indigo, yeah, for sure, and, or you can just get it from the Spoons, you know, Spoon sites, uh, at gigs, yeah. that way you get it signed, right? Yep. Yeah. So, uh, thanks for being on the show. Well, this is good. Up. Well, Enjoy it, thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers.